Hello and good morning, dear students. Let's continue the very same exercise on linear inequations. And today's first question is question number seven. So we need to solve this particular inequation. All right, so let's begin. So we have got this one. So what we are going to do is we will or we want to get rid of this minus five sign here. All right. So what you can do here is in order to get rid of this minus five, you can divide both sides by minus five. OK, so if I do that, then I get this one. Now, see here, I'm dividing with a negative, right? So that's why whenever you divide with negative, this sign will change. So this becomes less than in this case. OK, so you see that minus five and minus five gets canceled. So 30 and five gets canceled and you'll get minus six out here, right? So we have x plus 4 left, so x plus 4 is left, less than minus 6. Now next, what do you do? You want to get rid of this 4. So in order to get rid of this 4, you need to subtract both sides minus 4. Right? So you will subtract both sides by 4. So you will get x minus 4 and here you will get minus 6 minus 4. And these two gets cancelled, so minus 6 and minus 4 is minus 10. So x is less than minus 10 isn't it so that's why see here x is what x is coming from integers and what are the integers which are less than 10 so in order to know that let's take this number line okay so the numbers which are lying to the left of minus 10 okay because it is less right so numbers will be lying in the left and what are the numbers which are lying in the left they are minus 11 minus 12 minus 13 minus 14 minus 15 and it continues right so there are still more for example, minus 16, minus 17, and it continues. That's why the, your required answer will be, it will start from minus 11, goes with 2, minus 12, minus 13, and continues. Okay, this dot, dot, dot means it continues. So your answer will be this one. All right, so pause the video to note down. Okay, let's take question number 10 now. So question 10 says, solve the inequations. So let me take this one and you want to first get rid of this 15 okay so in order to get rid of this 15 i'll subtract 15 on both sides so this 15 will vanish and 17 minus 15 is 2 all right now if you want to get rid of this 2 what do you need to do you need to multiply both sides by 3 okay so when you multiply you will have only 2x plus 1 left and 2 into 3 becomes 6 or in other words you can say this as well so 3 into 2 becomes 6 that's all you can say okay fine now next is you want to get rid of this one so you need to subtract both side by one so only 2x will be left and here 6 minus 1 becomes 5. now you want to get rid of this 2 so in order to get rid of 2 you need to divide by 2 so you are dividing with positive number so that's why this sign remains as it is okay so this becomes 5 by 2 and how much is 5 by 2 actually 5 by 2 is two and a half, right and x is a whole number remember right so the number x is a whole number which is less than two and a half so the whole numbers which are less than two and a half are zero one and two so that's why your answer will be zero one two all right so pause the video to note that okay let's move on to the next question so this time your replacement set is given to be zero to seven okay so other things are similar so from here solve it all right or let me say this way so get this x out here take this 5 out there so this becomes plus x this goes over there and becomes plus 5 okay so that's how also we can do okay so we have 4x plus x is 5x these two gets added to 15 and from here the value of x turns out to be greater than 3 so you need to look for the numbers in this set which are greater than 3 so what are the numbers which are greater than 3 they are 4 5 6 and 7 so that's why your answer will be 4 5 6 and 7 so pause the video to note down okay so the last question solution is given out here so let me see the solution of this okay so there is this thing given to us now you are doing cross multiplication here and Always remember, you are not allowed to do this cross multiplication first. You always need to do this cross multiplication. Okay, so that's why we have 2 into 2x plus 3. All right, greater than 5 into this one. All right, so we have this one. So open up the bracket and find the value of x. So from here, the value of x turns out to be 11 by 6. So what is x actually? x is a whole number and 
the only whole number which is less than 11 by 6 okay so if you convert this into decimal you'll find that the only whole number which is less than 11 by 6 will be only 0 so that's why my answer will be only 0 in this case all right so pause the video to note down and try to complete the sums from this particular exercise which are not yet completed by yourself thank you very much